Hello, my, my name's Paul Fox, um, and it's a huge pleasure for me now to be on board as IRI's representative to Bangladesh. Um, there are some major things that we want to uh, that we want to uh, achieve in the coming coming years. And just to give you an idea, we think that um, through the GRIS project, which is the Global Rice Science Partnership. We hope that by the year 2035, with about an 8.5% in rice productivity, we can actually uh, relieve 22 million Bangladeshis from hunger. So there's some huge opportunities and challenges ahead. I'd like to also point out a little bit about some of the achievements of Bangladesh. Shortly after independence in 1974, the country faced famine. Now it's self-sufficient in rice productivity, so there's been amazing uh, steps forward in the last decades. Interestingly, within the region, Bangladesh leads South Asia in mechanisation of um, soil preparation and crop sowing. So in, in many ways, Bangladesh is, is a regional leader and I'm very excited about being part of that that very dynamic system. And there are huge challenges. When we look at Bangladesh, the amount of arable land per head of population is only 0.05 hectares. Add to this the fact that every year we're losing more land to urbanisation and other, other causes, then we have huge challenges ahead. But we think we can make it, as I said, by the year 2035, hopefully 22 million less Bangladeshis will face hunger. Iri's had a long history of involvement in Bangladesh, and the initial uh, successes were really with irrigated, semi-dwarf, borrow or dry season rice. Now what we're doing is moving on from that, and there are very complex ecosystems in which we're increasingly, increasingly working in the south of the country, in which we will have to develop taller high yielding varieties to manage the, the water situation in many of the, the rice uh, farming situations. But beyond the initial borrow, uh, borrow semi-dwarf high yielding varieties, we've made major inroads with submergence tolerance, with salinity tolerance, with drought tolerance, but there's a long way to go. And so I'm very um, pleased and excited to be part of this. We manage a, a large suite of about 17 projects, of which CESA, CESA for Sustainable Intensification in South Asia, is, is, a, is probably our biggest, but we have many other donors and we interact with a variety of stakeholders to bring these things together. In many ways, what we're hoping to be is the linkage to great science, great international science that we can channel to the immediate needs of rice-based farming within Bangladesh.